Hey guys, Hamlet here from Vodia Networks. Uh, today I'm going to introduce to you how to install DigitalOcean on Vodia with the Vodia PBX. As you can see on our front page, we do have a page where you can click to ready to deploy the Vodia PBX on DigitalOcean. Uh, if I click there, it'll bring you to the marketplace to deploy the phone system. Now, some things I will add, um, if you want to try this on DigitalOcean, they do have a free credit. Um, you can use for, for example, they give you $100, which you can use uh, 60 days for uh, credit for new users. So if you sign up, um, you'll be able to get your own DigitalOcean account and go to the marketplace. And then from there, you can type, type in uh, phone system or phone and then you can click on the create Vodia phone system droplet so I'm gonna quickly show you how to do this it's really simple only takes a few minutes so I'm gonna click the droplet um, I'm already signed in and have a digital ocean account so it's pretty much smooth sailing from here um, first thing you need to do is choose a plan uh, for testing purposes, I'm just going to use the $5 plan. Um, of course, if you have your credit, you can use it here. Uh, but for this test, I'm just going to go with the $5 plan. It's 1 gig, 25 gigs of SSD disk drive, and 100 gigabyte transfer. Um, one CPU, I mean, for testing purposes, it's, it's pretty good. Uh, and it, I mean, unless you're doing like a multi-tenant. Uh, which we will provide to you if you sign up. Um, you can always use for production the $40 or the $80 um, plan. So scrolling down, um, I don't need to add uh, block storage for this tutorial. I will choose though my region. So I'm going to choose New York 1. Next, I'm going to scroll down to VPC network. Uh, by default, they already assigned you a public IP and that's all you really need to run a PBX. You just need a public IP. You don't need uh, a secondary IP would be internal to DigitalOcean, uh, which you don't want to do. So just leave that as default. Next, uh, we get to the authentication portion where you can choose to create a public key and share it with your favorite SSH program. For this test, I'm just going to use uh, passwords so that I can, if I need to SSH or do anything in the back end, I can do that. Um, for this tutorial, I'm just showing you how to install the Vodia PBX uh, and then license the, the Vodia PBX as well. Um, SSHing into the box, um, you're rarely going to do that because everything is already in the GUI um, unless you needed to create some folder or some other item on the uh, on the droplet all right so I'm going to add my root password perfect uh, next uh, how many droplets I mean for this test I'm just going to use one droplet here you can choose your host name just going to remove this and just leave it as Vodia phone system next you can add some tags you can um, you can do this by just typing in what tag you want and this will help you uh, keep track of what you have on your system by clicking on one of the tags uh, next uh, enable backup um, it is recommended but this is a tutorial if you need to do that uh, when you're doing some major deployment uh, I would recommend to enable the backup or just create a snapshot of your PBX next I'm gonna uh, click on create droplet and then from here, DigitalOcean will prepare the droplet for you. Only takes a few seconds. Okay, there it goes. And then uh, that's it. Uh, the the Vodia PBX is running. Uh, we can check if we click on the copy now for the public IP address. And here it is. Here's your PBX. That is your login ready to go. Uh, to log in, it'll be admin and no password. You'll be presented with the license page, which you can scroll down. Uh, you can read later, uh, accept, and then you'll get to the license code activation page. 
uh, here to get to bring your own license uh, you would need to uh, sign up with Vodia uh, and get a complimentary uh, license key to activate your Vodia PBX phone system uh, for that you can go to sales at vodia.com uh, you'll get one of our sales rep reaching out to you give you some more information and provide you a Vodia portal when you sign up to get your free activation code uh, the next uh, video I'm gonna do is just creating extensions uh, perhaps uh, create some trunks to show you how it all works um, as you can see if I go to the status general page um, my IP is already picked up already so there is no need to create any uh, settings with the session border controller uh, RTP will flow in and out I don't need to change anything on my session border controller settings um, uh, you should be able to get audio both ways RTP runnings both ways and again if you have any questions uh, please uh, reach out to us at support at vodia.com and uh, look out for that next page and please subscribe to get uh, some more updates from Vodia Networks thank you